Now the first step is to set up your system and make it ready for, installa for installing OpenCV. So for that, the first product you need on your Windows is uh, Visual Studio. I will be using Visual Studio 2010 and get the Express version uh, for free on Microsoft's own uh, website uh, with the link of which is right here. And when you go to the page, uh, now just remember that their page keeps on updating from time to time so the layout and the design of the page might change but the content will be there so just browse around and you can find whatever you're looking for uh, now right now if you don't have Visual Studio uh, just go and click the see download details and that is going to take you to the components available for download to develop OpenCV applications, you definitely need Visual C++. I have a full version with everything involved because I tried multiple things. So you can go for that, the all-in-one version, or you can just go for uh, Visual C++ 2010 Express. And for that, you open it. And now to download it, just click the Install Now button and we'll take you to redirect you and give you a download link. Uh, just download that executable file and run it. When you run it, it will connect to the internet and uh, simultaneously download and install Microsoft Visual Studio on your system. Uh, just make sure your internet connection is good, the connectivity is good because the file size might, may be big. So once you have Visual Studio ready, uh, it is going to, the interface will look something like this. Now this is Visual Studio 2010 Professional. Uh, and when you have your Visual Studio read, ready, the next thing you need to do is go to Microsoft's page. Link is uh, as written here. This is the page to Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Service Pack 1 installer. Just download and install it on your system. Uh, why do you need to install it? Because if uh, you wanted to compile C++ applications on your system, you need uh, this service pack. Without it, there will be a compilation error and you won't be able to work on uh, Visual Studio projects for C++. Now this is especially true if you're using a 64-bit platform like myself. I'm using 64-bit Windows 7 Ultimate Edition. So I uh, set up everything correctly, but it was not working when I tried installing Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Service Pack 1. Uh, after that, I had no errors and I've been working fine. So that was for uh, the Visual Studio setups. Now we're going to move to OpenCV, installing OpenCV. 